Hello all, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing how you can set up Cursor AI on a Windows computer and start building applications with it, similarly to my previous video. At the end of the video, you should be able to set up Cursor on your own Windows computer, start a project from an empty folder, and have a functional server client program that is able to communicate over TCP network socket. The program should allow you to execute system commands on a connected client and receive the command output remotely. So stay tuned if this is what you are looking for. First, let's download Cursor AI as shown in the screen and install it on our Windows machine. As we will be building an Electron Desktop GUI application, we will also need Node NPM installed. Let's download that as well. We will need to log in in Cursor in order to use its agent AI features. This will help to create the files for us which saves a lot of time since we do not need to copy and paste code. Let's create a folder for the application that we are about to build. Open and select the folder in Cursor. We will need to wait for the installation of Node to be completed before we start prompting the Cursor AI to build our program. Alright, let's start writing our prompt. We want a server client application and the server application should be written in Electron with GUI. The server and client should communicate over a TCP network socket. We should also describe to the best of our ability how the UI layout should look like. We want a text field to input a port number and some buttons to start and stop the listener on the server. We also want a table showing connected clients which will be our victim computers who executed our payload. We should be able to right-click on the connected clients to execute system commands on them and also be able to receive the results of the commands executed. We want the execute command feature to be in a new window and it should look something like this. There should be a display results window and it should be scrollable to handle potentially large results. The exit feature will be pretty self-explanatory. Next, we will start prompting the client program. Client program is very straightforward. It should be able to connect back to our Electron server application that is listening on a TCP port. Alright, let's see what we will get from this prompt. Pretty exciting, right? We can start seeing Cursor AI agent in action. It will start creating all the necessary files and even structure them into separate folders such as server and client. It will start writing code into all the necessary files and once that is done, we will need to run npm install first to install all the dependencies that are required to run the programs. We can then first start the Electron server application by running npm start in the server directory. Nice, the UI looks pretty good. We can instruct the Cursor AI agent to make changes, such as instructing it to change the color scheme to be on the dark side 
using black, green, and red to make it look more hacky. Now let's fire up another command prompt to run the client application. We can see the connected client is showing up in our server application. Oh dear, of course it doesn't work. Let's prompt the Crystal AI agent to fix it. still doesn't work. What we can do here is to let Crystal AI agent iterate a few more tries or we can request for some debugging statements to be added into the code. Let's try again to see if it works. Alright, this looks good. The commands are getting executed and the results are being displayed. The exit button works as well, ending the client connection. Now we have a pretty nice server and client application that is capable of executing system commands on the client and getting back the results on the server. We can continue to prompt the Crystal AI agent to fix the minor issues and provide instructions on how to compile the client connector to an EXE executable file. We can also further improve the program, requesting for additional features. Alright all, this is it to the video. I hope this provides a good starting point for you all to give Crystal AI a try and build interesting applications. Thanks for watching and please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. If you are interested in learning about hacking a Windows Active Directory domain network environment, here is a playlist available on my YouTube channel where it contains 4 episodes showcasing the attack techniques, tactics and procedures commonly used by an attacker in a Windows domain network Active Directory. It has hands-on technical demonstration of attacks such as crack map exec, bloodhound, how to perform network pivoting and many others. On my Udemy page, I have a free introductory course that explains the core concept of phishing as well. This course is 100% completely free and it showcases the common approaches and tools to phishing and what attackers aim to achieve in phishing attacks, such as harvesting credentials or convincing a victim to click on a malicious payload. The link to the resources will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.